Welcome back 4-H'ers. Now we're going to cover uh, the rest of Coleoptera that intermediates need to know. Seniors, of course, you guys need to know this as well. Intermediates, make sure you also, and seniors, make sure you also review the insects that we covered in the junior presentation. Um, so Coleoptera, again, is the order for beetles. Beetles all have chewing mouth parts. They all have a complete life cycle, and they're a very, very, very diverse type of an order, so their pests, inconsequential, beneficial, just varies based on who they are. Um, intermediates, we covered, and seniors, we covered a handful of, in, of beetles that you also need to know in that junior presentation, so make sure that you watch that. But for intermediate and senior only insects, the first one that you need to know is called a boll weevil. Boll weevils are really interesting beetles because they um, have a huge impact on our Texas history, on our southern U.S. history. They're a major pest of cotton, so and so much so of a pest that the USDA, United States Department of Agriculture, initiated an eradication program in order to get rid of the boll weevil. And it was one; of, it, is, it is one of the few successful eradication programs that we have had in the U.S. Um, you will every now and then catch a find a boll weevil in a cotton field, especially those that border close to Mexico, but they're, they're basically eradicated and um, there's still monitoring programs going on to make sure that they don't have a rebound. So what I would know about weevils in general, because there are a handful of weevils that you guys are gonna need to know, weevils are beetles. They just have these long snouts for their mouth part. So they kind of have like a, a, an elephant trunk, um, trunk, but at the end of it is where they chew. So a boll weevil is a major pest. Its host is cotton. They feed on the cotton. They ruin the cotton, and they prevent it from becoming harvestable um, so that we can use it to make things. What I would also know about this guy is that it's a pretty good-sized weevil, and it also is really hairy if you look at that picture closely. Colorado potato beetle is another pest. These guys are kind of goldish yellow. They'll fade to white with the black stripes along the abdomen. They're um, rounded in, in shape, and they're bigger than a ladybug, but not by a whole lot. They're maybe twice the size of a ladybug, I guess. Um, they are a pest. As their name says, they're found on potatoes, chewing mouth parts, complete life cycle. The left-hand picture shows you what they look like as larvae. They're actually kind of pretty, and there they are feeding on a plant. Japanese beetles also are pests. They are found in um, crops. So they're a pest of turf, but for this contest, um, use their host as a crop. The way that they look, their thorax is like this green me metallic color, and then the wings are kind of a, a copper or a bronze, and also shiny and metallic. And then they have these white tufts of hair all along the edge of the abdomen. They do look like a June bug, but June bugs are just all brown. And these are actually kind of pretty if you see them. They're also a little smaller than a June bug, than like the typical June bugs that species that we usually are accustomed to. The lesser grain borer is also a pest. And this guy is, um, they're a pest in stored grains. And so what happens is if you're a farmer and you're growing wheat, you're going to cut that wheat down, you're going to harvest it, and then you're going to store it somewhere. And, and you're storing it somewhere so that it can dry out maybe, but also to wait until somebody's ready to buy it from you so that they can make cereal or they can make flour or what we recognize this the grain to be. So these beetles will get into those stored grains um, and feed on them and ruin them. Really, really tiny bug. They're a pest. The thing about them is that from above, you can't see their head. They're kind of um, hunchbacked if you look at them from that side picture. So um, I would recognize them in that way. There, there might, there's another beetle that is a stored grains pest that we will look at for um, probably just for intermediates maybe. I'm, I'm sorry, probably just for seniors. But you can see its head from above. So you can't see that guy's head from above. And that makes it kind of unique. This is another weevil that we have. And this weevil, I know it's a weevil immediately because it has that snout. This weevil is smaller than that bull weevil. It's a different color. It's not so gray and it has no hair on it. This one is a maize or a rice weevil, so it's found on rice and corn, maize is corn. The adult um, and the larva are very small. 
And um, if you, that's a grain of corn, think about your popcorn before it pops. That's how tiny they are. And the other thing about them is that they have four spots on their abdomen, four um, lighter colored spots on every corner of their wing. So that's another thing to look at. And now we have another weevil. And this guy's a weird looking weevil. He's not gray. He's not brown like the other one is. He's kind of mottled in color. Their, um, their trunk kind of um, snout is more curved than the other ones were. It looks warty. So this guy's a plum curculio. They're a pest of peaches and plums. On the contest, it says peaches, but they also like plums. We just don't grow a whole lot of plums here in Texas, and so we're giving it ho the host to the type of plant that we do grow a lot of. And they feed on the fruit, so they're a bad guy. I think this might be one of the last weevils that y'all will need to know if I'm not. Yeah, I think this is. No, seniors are going to have to know one more. Sweet potato weevil. Pretty in color, um, kind of the same size all the way down, like the same width, right? Um, it's found in sweet potatoes and potatoes. So major pest. All the weevils are, are basically pests. Um, and that's all you really need to know about it. it. It's the only one that I think is kind of pretty. So it's got a, a different color thorax than the other guys do. And in real life, it's actually really small. In real life, that abdomen is almost, it's almost blue. It's so black, it's blue. So those are the seven um, additional beetles that intermediates needed to know. In our next presentation, we'll cover all of the other beetles that need to be known for the seniors only.